Hello and welcome to Get to Know Science. This video is about metallic bonding and how it explains some of the properties of metals. So metal atoms are arranged like this. There is a lattice of metal atoms arranged in regular layers. The outer electrons in each atom are delocalized, meaning they can move easily between atoms. So each one of these is a delocalized electron and they can move between atoms and this means that the atoms are actually positively charged ions so if we think about the fact that like charges repel and all of these ions are like charges they're all positive what's to stop them from repelling each other well it helps to think of metallic structure as positively charged ions in a sea of electrons. So this is often referred to as a sea of electrons. And since the electrons are negatively charged, they can hold the ions together because opposite charges attract. Metallic bonding is actually very strong and it means that metals have high melting and boiling points. So these are some of the characteristics of metals. So high boiling points and melting points. Also the free electrons make metals very good conductors of electricity and also of heat. So conductors of electricity and heat, and that makes them very good conductors. The fact that there are free electrons that can move. Now, another property of metals, which can be explained by looking at the structure of the metal, is the fact that metals can be shaped and bent into wires and other things. So the fact that they have regular layers like this in the metal lattice means that if we were to apply a force like this, or two forces, we would be able to deform the metal and cause these layers to slide over each other. So if you look at the bottom diagram here, these layers have slid over each other because of these two forces. And this is a useful property because it enables us to draw metal out into wires and to bend and shape them. So it means that metals are malleable, which means we can bend them and shape them, and also ductile, which means we can draw them out into thin wires. Okay, so that was just a very quick video about metallic bonding and about how we can use that to explain some of the properties of metals. And we looked at the fact that metals are malleable and ductile, and that they are good conductors of electricity and good conductors of heat, and also that they have high melting points and high boiling points. And that can all be explained by referring to the structure of metals and metallic bonding. Okay, so make sure you like, comment and subscribe and share the video and I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.